thought she had the authority. Wow. The damn another video started. Star Bricker I thought she acted like she had the authority to try to um be like, oh yeah, wait till I get around to try to tell um tell she's like, what if I she said, wait if, if for me to get around to try to contact the the guy with the white the white Audi car and and show him that she's filming his car and 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 stuff like that, you know. But that's how I know he was a perp because he parked like sometimes he would even park like right here, and like every Friday or Saturday it's been the the past like three or four weeks in a row. He, and, you know, it was more like four weeks, four or five weeks in a row, something like that. And he would, um, this guy on a on a scooter looking at me like I'm crazy. So, um, he would bright his like he had the white LED lights, and he would back in and bright the damn lights in my face while I'm, while I'm trying to sleep. So I figure if you do that, like you you see a per, a homeless person sleeping right there. So I figure you're doing it deliberately. You must be a perp. But at the same time, it's like the police always, you know, the police always harass him every time. Like every time he come park here. And so yesterday, last night, I didn't, like, I don't know what happened last night. Even though I had noise campaigns directed at me, generally, it was more of a quieter Friday because they didn't really have a whole bunch of cars lined up against here, parked here, and stuff like that. So, um, like a whole bunch of cars, they all be lined up and parked here, and parked back in this parking lot right here, and parked all along here, and this heavier foot traffic. It, it, it was, it was kind of like a Tuesday, or, like last night, it was kind of like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I didn't see a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, peep, a lot of people, you know. So let me get going, cause um, I gotta go, and I'm mad and disgusted that I only got like about three hours of sleep, and then even that was spotty. So um, but anyway, I wanted to try to promote my writings more and push my fundraiser more. Because winter is coming soon. And I got all the links in the description box. I even added the um the link to the petition in the description box. So um you know, I'm trying to get off the streets and trying to get permanent housing for the winter. But before I go though, come on man. Before I go, I wanted to say that yesterday that I tried to fill out a job application. And, and um, I don't know how or why. Come on, stop. I don't know how or why. I think they mind controlled me into accidentally. They must have really not wanted me. Damn, they're doing this on purpose. They must have really not wanted me to um get try to get a job because I don't know. It's like I became absent-minded. Like my mind went blank for a split second, like as if I was absent-minded, and I, I didn't realize they must have mind controlled me into accidentally when the when the manager asked me for my phone number. If he hadn't mentioned, oh oh, a five zero four number, huh? Oh, New Orleans, huh? I would not have realized that I asked, and I would have probably wondered why why I wasn't called, you know. But that particular, how many times y'all gonna pass by? So um, so I didn't realize that they they mind controlled me to um accidentally. They mind controlled me to accidentally giving out um. Their mind controlled me into accidentally giving out my old phone number. And so it's like, 
when he said, oh, 504, huh? I'm like, oh, that's when I realized, oh, shucks, that was, I'm, I'm like, I'm so sorry. That was my old number. I meant to give you my new number. So then I gave him my new number, and it's like, because I don't know how or why I abs- I wasn't even thinking that my mind went blank, and I didn't realize I accidentally gave him the old phone number. But I put the current number on the application, though. But it's like, yeah, but I mean, Sarah... She came up to me and walk walk up to me. It's like, did they pay her? Like, I think it was Tuesday. Did they pay her? I, did, I forgot to, all about trying to tell y'all. Did they pay Sarah to walk up to me prepared in a red shirt? Did they, did they pay Sarah to walk up to me? Did, did they pay Sarah to walk up to me? And say, well, Candy, my aunt said that they have voc re- rehabilitation at um at Lakeview if you want to, if you want the services over there. And of course, you know, I flew off the handles because I want nothing to do with Lakeview. And then when since when they have voc rehab services, <clears throat> you know, I'm I avoid Lakeview like the plague. <clears throat> Lakeview. Is like the um, you know, it's the top chief mental health services here. But why she, she was because usually the uniform is like blue and black. Her shirt. She had the masonic red fake, red fake hair and braids. And so she walked up to me. And tell me, you know. She walked up to me and tell me about um. Lake View, like she was prepared to perp me in a red shirt. So, um, it's like she must have got paid to walk up and tell me that. And prepared with the dog on red shirt. So, um, I gotta go now. What time is it? Seven seventeen. So. I'm going to see y'all.